Less than a year ago, the state of Florida was ravaged by Hurricane Ian, particularly the southwest part of the state. Homes and businesses were completely leveled. The bridge to Sanibel Island was washed out. And amid the damage, residents lost some of their most precious items. Our next guest is a photographer from the area who came through for her neighbors in the wake of the storm, helping total strangers restore their most beloved photos. We call that a rad human. All right, everybody, let's welcome Krista. So meet Tahid, meet Nicole. Hi. Everybody's Hi. here, y'all. So tell us about your experience through Hurricane Ian. Yeah, actually, um, I, so I'm from Florida. Hurricanes happen, and I yeah. didn't think as much of it. Like leading into the hurricane and the days up to it, I we get those kind of warnings. So I kind of thought this is going to be like that. Like it happens so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like every season, there's there's potential for a hurricane to happen. So I thought that. So I didn't think as much of it. Yeah. And then it really wasn't until just before the storm that it went directly to us and it hit us and it just. It just devastated our area. Thousands yeah. of homes were literally destroyed. Up to 12 feet of flood water just came. That's insane. Gosh, isn't it insane? Yeah, to think Destroyed about. Destroyed those houses. So that was, it was crazy. And it was my own business too. So mm -hmm. I photograph weddings and families and it's destination weddings and families on vacation. And mm. that's not happening when all of those hotels were just, I mean, they just got destroyed. So, yeah. so much of the area. The economy um, was hit as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it really was. So it was, it was just really hard. It was Absolutely. a hard time for everybody. Yeah, so you started helping your neighbors. So explain how that happened. Yes. Um, so my neighbor, her father's home got six feet of water in it. And it just, everything inside was destroyed. And I went with her to her father's house and just started helping her carry everything, everything he owned out to the curb mm -hmm. and um, was helping her. And while I was doing that, she started collecting all the photos in the house and she had spread them across the front yard and grabbed me. She's like, Krista, you're a photographer. Do I have to throw these in the trash or can I save these? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, we can save these. So I just got to work. I started washing them and cleaning them up. Yeah. And then I realized like maybe people don't know. So I just started um, just knocking on doors and, and just asking strangers, like, do you have pictures you need help with? Like, I can help. So yeah. um, I started doing that and I just took tons of pictures back to my house, was washing them, cleaning them, and then doing digital restoration where I would take a picture of them and, and do retouch them. So they were, yeah. they were fixed up. And that um, just got overwhelmed. It was more than I could handle, but I realized anybody in the country could do that. So I did a Facebook post and said, hey, are there any other photographers out there who would want to volunteer to help me digitally restore these pictures? And I had so many wonderful Love people that. all over the country help, uh, offer to help. And then one was a teacher in Connecticut. She's at Amity High School in Connecticut. She said, let me, let me help. I will have my entire Photoshop class help you. Oh, wow, and what so, a project they can yeah, work on. Yeah, so it was really wonderful. I'm sure that you have photos in your life that are like, especially older ones that like maybe you haven't scanned yet. Like I, mm -hmm. like I haven't scanned all the photos I should be scanning like to save mm -hmm. like I hear that digitally. so often. I know and I know I should, but you don't think about it until mm -hmm. you, I've literally had a place that I've been in catch fire and like literally I had one box saved and luckily it was the pictures, but like, but it, it you don't think about it, but I'm sure you have photos in your house that you're like, oh my gosh, like, like from Nigeria, like maybe yeah, when you're a kid. Yeah, 100, yeah. Like, and you know, like I've, we've got photos in our house that like aren't scanned. And like, we had a very similar thing where, you know, there was a fire on the block that we lived in and like, you know, and I'm like, I only have a picture that I took of the photo and like my thumbs in it and stuff. Oh. And like, you know, like the stuff like that, you're completely right. Nobody, you never think about it. And so oh. you can lose all of these yeah. lovely memories. Yeah. So you made a special connection with one woman in your community. So tell us about Lori. Yeah, um, Lori actually and I connected on Facebook. She reached out and said she had photos damaged and I'd never met her before, but I said, you know, I'll come over and look at, her, at your pictures. Yeah. Um, as I was driving over to my house, I, I was thinking like literally, I remember driving and thinking, I have, my house is full at this point. Like maybe I'll just tell her, I'm just gonna take some, like tell me what's most important. Yeah. So I got to her house and it was just her husband there. She wasn't home at the time. And so I asked her husband like, what do you have that's important? And he was, well, let me show you what we got. It was six trash bags full of albums and photos. <gasps> And so I said, "Oh no, I, it was a, it was a lot." Yeah. And so I said, "So which ones? What do you think I should take and work on?" And he said, "Let me put Lori on the phone." He gets her on speakerphone, and he says, um, "You know, Lori, which which pictures do you think Krista should take?" And Lori just broke down and started crying. And I could just feel the pain in her voice. She had been yeah. through so much. So I literally just, I was like, just give me everything. Just take, I'll take it all. Yeah. And I filled my whole car with Lori's pictures and took them back to my house. And they were, they were bad. I mean, they were already molding. They were soaking wet. And, oh, and look at them. They're so classic. All those old ones. Oh, so, so many yeah. pictures. Yes. 
Uh, you're making me cry. Oh, I'm no. like, oh my God, if I would I, I was like, she's gonna burst into tears. And yes, she did. Um, I was like, I was like, I would have done that. I'm like, I can't pick one. Uh, yeah. yeah. So have have you ever had a neighbor like in a time of need like help you out in any situation? Yeah, I mean, mine isn't as touching as your story, but when I lived in my, my early 20s in New York, I would get very drunk and <laughs> knock on the apartment directly below me. <laughs> And they would open the door and be like, hello, Nicole, you don't live here. And then walk me upstairs to my apartment. So I was very grateful That's for That's a them. different way of getting to know your neighbor. Yeah. I think, I think that, neighbor. that neighbor's a rad human. I, I think so. That's I love you human. so much. Oh my gosh. So Krista, you were able to save some photos, right? Yes, I was. Lori had some really special ones of her mom, and um, I was able to save those great yeah. pictures of her mom. Um, then she brought me another box, and it was, <laughs> yes, this That's one awesome. was the worst of them. It was soaking wet, like still soggy. It was a mess. I called it the scary box. I'm like, oh boy, like this one is bad. But she had told me it had pictures of um, her son in it, pictures of her son with his late father. Like there were some things that were really important in that, in that yeah. box, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, everybody. Well, Lori doesn't know this, but Krista was able to salvage many of the photos from Lori's son's childhood. Up next, we're going to meet Lori, and we're going to show her what Krista was able to save. Stay right here. Everybody say hi to Lori. <laughs> hi, Lori. Hi. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is like I was bawling. Oh. Don't make I can't cry. Can't <laughs> I don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Come on over. Hi. So Obviously, you know Krista, <laughs> but meet Tahi, meet Hello. Nicole. Yes. Everybody Hi, say guys. hi. Nice meeting Hello. you. You want to have a seat? Yes. There you go. Um, so, Laura, your home took a lot of damage in yes, the hurricane, it did. right? It yeah. Did. So, we got back to the house. I'm going to regroup here a minute. Um, it's a, look, I'm prepared. I cry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we pulled up and we're like, we have a duplex because my husband and I have one side and my parents are in the other. We That's walked cool. up and, okay, the carport's still here. We're good. We're good. I unlocked the front door and all I saw was black sludge everywhere. Furniture floating, um, personal belongings just where they weren't supposed to be, walls gone. So the hardest part was when we got to finding all the family photos and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So that was the hard part. Krista was able to save some of the photos, right? Some of them were I've in the scary some. box, so. No, I don't know about the scary box. I don't know. I haven't yeah. seen much of the scary box. No, so. I know. Some were in the scary box, so we don't talk about those. Mostly, it's like Lord Voldemort. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, exactly. But, but she Mostly was able moms. to salvage some of them, yeah. right? A lot of my mom's pictures. That's so cool. Yeah. Were those the older, like, old school ones that I saw on the table in the picture? Yes. Oh, yes. so cool. Yes, a lot of, you know, heritage. Things you can't and get back. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I still have hope. <laughs> well, well, it's a good thing. Lori doesn't know this, but those weren't the only pictures you restored, right? Right. Um, yeah. So, Lori, we were able to save over 100 pictures. There were, there were a bunch in the box that we were able to save. It was uh, with the help of all of those... All, <laughs> cry you're gonna make me cry um we were able to save a bunch of those photos with the help of the um photoshop class in connecticut and volunteers all over the country that that is so cool look at them look at them do you see behind you right now you. there's like that they salvage it like my beautiful mom such a great thing well um here's one picture lawyers particularly worried about after the storm it looked like this which is not great um so what's what's this photo of? That is, is that my a birthday? son Five, and, and his biological father that has deceased. Oh, that's really irreplaceable. Yeah, yeah. That, I forget which. Well, it was his fifth birthday. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's the five candle. Were that you was his... were you able to salvage that one? Um, yes, uh, we were able to save. Oh that my photo. gosh! Yes. Let's see the restored. Oh my God. <gasps> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I don't understand how you did that, but that's so incredible. And especially for your son, like that's, yeah. you know, you, you can't put a price on that. Um, there's more, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so Lori, with the help of Kelly and her producers, we put an entire album together of your restored pictures. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, way to go team. That's my brothers. There's so much loss. So it's oh, it's nice to have something. I think that's that my was grandfather, and my grandmother, and I think that's my mom. Yeah. Oh my God, they're the most beautiful oh, photos. God. This is my youngest brother who is deceased as well. So this is oh. going to be really special to us. 
I mean, just look at the, yeah, the, on the monitor, like how it. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> Wow. How you're able to I do that. I thought those were gone. What a gift, all those people. And isn't it kind of cool, like out of devastation, people, strangers across the nation help <sighs> do this. I think that's so powerful. That's my favorite part is like, I don't even know this person, but like, let's help them get this back together. That's a, that's a really cool thing. And Krista, way to lead, <laughs> way to lead that. That's so cool. I am beyond speechless It's right now. and it's really cool. <laughs> Well, you have both been through a lot and we want you to get some R&R. &R. So we are sending both of you and your families on a four night trip to Westgate Park City Resort in Spa, Utah. And you're gonna indulge in a ski retreat with Spacious Villas, an award-winning spa, savory steakhouse, sweeping mountain views, and the opportunity to create lasting memories. It's gonna be awesome, I love you, Tal. You're gonna love it. Thank you so much. Oh man, I'm just so sorry that that happened to your family in the first place.